as far as the developments on this, well, our chopper deal are concerned, the chief now has expressed, the former Air Chief Marshal has expressed his utter shock and disbelief. And in his defense, the ex Air Chief has also said that he did not meddle with the requirements of VVIP choppers and the requirements would change a long time before he became the S Air Chief. Now that the Italian prosecution has come out with its report and has in fact named retired Air Chief Marshal S.P. Tiagi as one of the main beneficiaries, we have with us the Air Chief himself, sir. What was your first reaction on seeing that report? Well, I saw it at about 8.30 after I came back from my box. All I can say is I was shocked. Shocked. I'm still shocked, actually. The Defence Minister, Mr. A.K. Antony, has gone on record and said that it was because of the insistence of the SPG and the Indian Air Force that this entire deal could be cleared in a very uh, speedy and a very record time-bound manner. Where is this whole aspect of speedy and insistence from the Air Force coming from? You were the chief when the uh, QRs were released for this. Look, uh, the QRs were first made in the year 2000 and they were altered. For very good reason, I might add, from my opinion. What were those reasons? Uh, because we had initially thought, you know, at that time the defense minister used to go to Siachen. So they had said that the altitude at 2000, in the year 2000, they said you should be able to go to 18,000 feet. Now that narrowed, not many people design aircraft to fly at 18,000 feet. So uh, from what I understand, I mean, I'm, um, the that they found there was only one helicopter in the world that would, could meet that requirement. So in 2003, these requirements were changed. So then they, only one company remained in the fray? At, in 2000, yes. When so, whose decision was it to change the QR, sir? The, the was QR it the insistence of Air Force? No, no, no. The way Air Force, it's the, you know, the VIPs travel in it, they have to decide what height. In fact, very for very good reason, they said this is, will restrict us. Two things happened. One, only one helicopter existed. The second thing was that the cabin height of that helicopter was such that the SPG was uncomfortable. They could not stand with their weapons and, and fire. And that is why the requirements were changed. So they said, let us broaden the search and let's find a helicopter in which the SPG will be able to stand. So those are the two main issues from memory, I can say. So those issues actually ensured that only Augusta was the one which could have actually supplied those kind of helicopters. No, 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 no. no. In fact, there were three, three, three people who could have met that requirement. There was a Russian uh, helicopter, there was a Sikorsky helicopter, and there was a uh, Westland helicopter. Maybe there were more, I don't know. I mean, I, at least three were there. I see. I see. How do how do your I mean how does your role come into the picture when you were at the at the helms of the affair? What did you see at your duties? Well, uh, my role came on because the RFP was issued. That means the tender issue was issued in 2006 when I was the chief. That is the essence. There are two reasons why my name comes up. One is there are names of my cousins, yeah. Yeah. and the other is. Uh, the reason that the RFP was issued when I was there. You know, the RFP actually mentions a pact which is called as an integrity pact. Yes. Now, let us for a moment take aside what happened this morning when you saw your name in it. But about this entire issue, there have been allegations for at least two years in the public domain. Integrity pact is something which on the basis of mere suspicion, the MOD can actually call for the account books. Why has no action been taken in your opinion as a citizen of the country, sir? Do you no. not feel there are grounds for action to be, have been taken much earlier than what it is being done now? Uh, I, as I understand, and this is only my understanding, I am out of the government for the last six years, that action was taken. I mean, they have answered questions in the parliament that they, they have done an internal inquiry and therefore, some. it's not that no action was taken. As I understand, action was taken. They carried out an internal investigation and then... I mean, I, I don't know the details of Yesterday, that. the MOD issued a press note and said that our investigation could not be done because the MEA could not supply us with information from Italy and UK. Yeah. That was the intent. They did not move at all on that investigation. As a private citizen and as, as somebody who's worn the uniform, don't you feel that the government should have been more serious about this? No, I'm sure the government was serious. I Look, I will not like to comment because I don't have the facts. It is, you know, how am I talking about if I have the facts, I will say, this is my opinion. I mean, uh, why shouldn't I express my opinion? But I don't know. I don't know what what has been done, what has been inquired, what has happened. So I will not like to comment on what, about what the government should have done or should not have done. 
what about the role of your cousins there are three names from your yeah. family at least with the surname tyagi coming up how do you no, talk no, about they are their my role? cousins they are my cousins so let's not uh, get away with that it's not just tyagi they are my cousins they were discussed uh, also by you know the middlemen alleged yes, middlemen yes, in this entire case yes yes uh, i'm i have read that report look uh, this report came out in indian express some times ago and uh, his correspondent was in touch with me and uh, i obviously asked my cousins that my name is perhaps being linked because of them i mean so it was an obvious uh, conversation all i can say is what they told me that they said, they, they they said they have got nothing to do with it they know these italians and they have business dealings with these italians incidentally but they said it has got nothing to do with the vip helicopter they they actually expressed uh, shall i say that we have no knowledge of this this particular my penultimate question yeah. sir uh, this morning there is news that you know the us government also had the option of purchasing these helicopters but they went in for upgradation as a former air chief i'm not talking about what has happened this morning but as a former air chief do you not feel that there was still scope for the me 7s me 8s and me 17s and the other embraer jets that we've had already acquired wasn't there a scope to actually upgrade them and not going for such a costly deal the vip helicopter deal no firstly the we have vip helicopters in our comms squadron their life was expiring in fact uh, we were worried and, and i'm going back by memory we were worried that before we you know helicopter purchases take we start in 2000 is 2013 and they're just arriving so it takes a long time so you have to plan way way ahead the fact is uh, we felt that the indian prime minister the indian president and the vice president the indian vips will require and these jet these aircraft will stay with us for the next 25 years so the deal was on merit there was a requirement oh, yes, yes. there was a requirement the requirement was first as i said started in 2000 and so my last question have you been till now approached by the ministry of defense and if so then what has been the case what has been what has been their response what have they asked of you but why would they approach me for what they have done their internal inquiry and now they will have another inquiry i mean why should the ministry approach me uh, and and you are ready to cooperate with any investigation or any inquiry that But may be of course i would like the investigation to take place in fact all right so anything that you would like to add from your side about no, this episode no i have said it all that look there is a system let's just follow the system all right thank you so much so there you have it air chief marshal sp tyagi defending his actions incidentally also defending the government and saying that the deal for the vvip helicopters was a requirement an urgent requirement at that and he says that he is ready for any probe whatsoever